Here's the formula for getting rich. Now, when most people think about making more money, they've got it all wrong. Here in this video, I'm gonna hand you two of the most valuable lessons that I've ever personally learned about money. And the formula that I discovered that can make anyone rich. I'm Bobby Rio, and if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel on becoming a high value man and breaking your nice guy habits. Okay, so I read the book Rich Dad Poor Dad right after college, and I knew two things, and these were like the only two things I knew about getting rich. The first thing I knew, knew was that you needed to buy assets. The second thing was I needed money to buy assets. But my entire life, I had only one frame of reference towards earning more money, and that was working more hours. So over the next couple years, I worked 12-hour shifts waiting tables, um, pocketing cash, and then I took a job as a realtor, and I pounded the pavement, I knocked on doors, which I might add is just about the scariest thing I ever did as, a, as an introvert. Now, I didn't last long as a realtor, and I made very little money doing it, but I discovered my first valuable lesson about making money while I was working as a realtor. And that lesson was, find a need that exists and solve that need. This first lesson, which I'll explain in a minute, a few years later, would make me a millionaire within a couple years. See, the truth was, I was a terrible real estate agent. I hated face-to-face -face selling. I was too shy to like, you know, chit-chat with clients. And quite frankly, I couldn't close a deal. However, I was smart enough to spot a need in the marketplace. See, what I noticed while working as a realtor was that realtors always needed house painters. When someone goes to sell their house, the first thing a realtor does is tell the homeowner that they should freshen it up with a paint job. And then later when someone goes uh, to, to, to buy a new house, the first thing they do is repaint all the rooms. Um, so as a realtor, you're constantly having to recommend painting companies, right? You're always looking for a good painting company that you, rec you can recommend. So seeing that my real estate sales career wasn't going anywhere, I talked my brother into quitting his job and starting a painting business with me, figuring I could just get all the realtor as my clients. My plan was to solely target real estate agents for work. In fact, my first venture into email marketing was collecting the email addresses of thousands of New Jersey realtors off their website and building an email list out of them. I then began send, sending out emails telling realtors that we're a painting company that specializes in working with realtors to make the home buying and selling experience as smoothly as possible for their clients. Now I still remember the first day I blasted out an email to hundreds of realtors, which by the way, I don't recommend because if you don't legally collect them, it could be considered spam. And then I waited, and a few hours later, I checked my email, and I saw a handful of responses. One woman was a super successful realtor in a very rich town in New Jersey, and she was eager for a good company that she could work with, and she immediately hired us for a few jobs. And I was just blown away. And also, I had verified that there was, in fact, a need in the marketplace. The truth was, um, I had never really painted in my life, and I wasn't very good at it. And I didn't really like it, but I saw a need for it within a specific demographic of people, which is real estate agents. The first million dollar mindset is to stop focusing on what you want to do and focus on what a market of people need. And then step in front of that market with a solution. It's almost impossible to fail when you do that. So the next few years I spent growing a paint contracting biz business with my brother and as, uh, as this was going on, my dream of becoming rich was slowly dwindling away. Now here's why. Because I was associating being rich with working harder. And because of that, I lost my motivation to get rich because my mind told me that to get rich, I have to paint more houses. I have to spend more time up on scary ladders. I have to drive around and give more estimates, manage a bigger crew of employees. And I think that this belief that you need to work more hours, work harder, is a belief that holds a lot of people back from becoming millionaires. Here's the truth. You can never work hard enough to become a millionaire. This is why you'll never become a millionaire by trading hours for dollars. Let me show you. So right now, I charge roughly $250 an hour to do a coaching call. 
To a lot of people, $250 is a lot per hour, especially since I'm basically just talking on the phone. So there's no overhead, there's no travel, there's nothing. But to make a million dollars in a year, I'd have to spend 4,000 hours on coaching calls. If you eliminate weekends and holidays, I'd need to spend 16 hours a day on the phone. Now, the reason I point this out is to show you that it's nearly impossible to work your way to a million dollars, even at a high hourly rate of $250 an hour. Just to give you an idea how millionaires think, a millionaire friend of mine recently asked me the other day, he goes, why do you waste your time doing coaching calls for $250 an hour? Like, well, the answer to that goes back to the very first lesson of this email. Do you remember what that million dollar lesson was? Find a need in the marketplace and then solve that need. I look at coaching calls as paid research. I get paid to talk to customers and find out more about their needs and wants, their frustrations, their problems. And then what do I do? I create products to solve these problems because a product allows you to escape the dollars for hours trap that'll prevent you from being rich. I could never have become a millionaire in five years, no matter how many doors that I knocked on as a realtor, no matter how many houses that I painted, no matter how many tables I waited, and no matter how many high-priced coaching calls I did. There wasn't enough hours in the day. On the other hand, within five years of creating my first product, an ebook, I was legitimately a millionaire. And I had begun building the real estate empire that I had dreamed of when I first read the book Rich Dad Poor Dad back in the day. That is the formula right there that almost every self-made man and woman has to follow to become rich. It all starts with having your own product that is what you can use to set you free. Now, because there's only so much I can explain in a video like this without it getting ridiculously long, a couple of days a week, I host a free online workshop teaching a step-by-step -step method for creating your first product. It's called How to Package Your Wisdom into Products You Can Sell Online for Big Money. You can register at magneticmindsets.com forward slash wisdom and you'll learn how to make a business or at least a wildly profitable side hustle out of the knowledge that you already possess. You're going to learn three ways to come up with ideas for your first sellable product, how to determine ahead of time what knowledge you have that people are happy and eager to pay you for. Best of all, uh, my friend Rob Weiser and I will teach you our all-time favorite type of product to create and how to get started even if you're dead broke and you have no experience. There are a handful of sessions to choose from. It's completely free, so register now at magneticmindsets.com forward slash wisdom. I really believe with the way the world is going that if you don't have your own product, you're going to fall behind. Also, leave a comment below and let me know what else you'd like to see me cover in videos like this.